Hey guys, this is Spectre Phantom here, and uh, whoa, that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 reveal live stream was insane. But we're just gonna be focusing on multiplayer in this video because it's got so much information. We're just gonna do multiplayer and battle royale. Zombies, I'm doing a whole separate video because there's so much stuff on that one too. But without further ado, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And let's get right into it. So multiplayer, what we got uh, confirmed by David Vonderhart is this is being set in a, a fictional uh, time period between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. So it's near future, I should say, quote unquote. But yeah, that's basically the time period. And I like it. Uh, I felt like Black Ops 2 was a good time period. Black Ops 3 was pushing it a little bit, so having something in between there, it's it's a good boundary. And it's boots on the ground, confirmed, no wall running, no thrust jumping, so there we go, that's what we need. Yet, they still have the fast paced action because uh, David Vonderhaar also confirmed that it, there's still going to be still guns up. So, the guns are still going to be up and in your face, always ready to attack the enemy. Now, there were a lot of things in there that were very concerning at first. The grappling hook was really, really, really like interesting for me to see because I was like, uh, I don't know if I like that. But if it's not a major feature, it should be okay. If you can't like grapple up onto like a three-story building, then it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So if it's something to just grapple, and it, it, it kind of felt like it was something to grapple to something to like move there a little quicker so if that's all it is then that's fine and uh let me think there was a lot of there was a, a scar type weapon in there so i'm finally happy if I, i'm happy that they finally added that scar back because i've been missing that gun since black ops 2 man that was heartbreaking that they didn't put that in black ops 3 or an equivalent type weapon in there but yeah um another part of the trailer there were a uh, bunch of the specialist abilities returning when I saw Ruin with that gravity spike thing I was like ooh and they got Seraph back with uh, something like the Executioner or not Executioner the Executioner was the Black Ops so it's like the Executioner so yeah that there you go and then you have uh, what, what else was there there was the uh, swimming swimming's back and that w that's an obvious, uh, except there's one thing, you can't just boost jump out of the water. You have to find a place to be able to get out of the water because you're not, you, you have to swim. You can't just like jump halfway out of the water. You have to go all the way through if you're going to swim. So that kind of puts you at a disadvantage if you think about it. And then the guns, they looked very well uh, made. Um, the slide is back and purifiers back and it's very black ops 3ish but black ops 2ish i felt like it was more of a black ops 2 type game with black ops 3 features and textures and stuff like that if you know what i'm saying so yeah that's kind of how i felt it looked but yeah otherwise i i don't know it's kind of i hope it feels good now, I want to get into one negative real quick, and that's the regen system. Now, the regen system is stated by uh, David Vonderhaar again, is that health doesn't automatically regen. Now, that was a major problem in World War II because the regen was very slow. Now, this is like not at all. You have to manually take a thing and stab yourself with health if you want to, like, regen fully. So every time you get into a gunfight, and there's some dude just like coming at you and he starts shooting you you have to like after you finish that gunfight you have to click L1 he said it was L1 you stab yourself with a health pen and then you can be in full health now that feel I feel like it's gonna take you out of the engagement now what if you're trying to take let's say B flag and there's like three people coming at you like you can't stop yourself from that you can't regen or let's say you kill someone and then run around the corner you're usually your health would be regen by that but you can't so you run around the corner 
to regen your health, but there's another guy there who shoots you, and you're done. So that's one major concern I have about the game. Now, for Battle Royale, oh man, Battle Royale is looking good. Now, he said it was a hun it was 1,500 times bigger than Nuketown, which I don't want to do the math for that, but that sounds pretty big. And it's got a bunch of pieces of maps just like put in there. I saw the Turbine map, the full map of Turbine from Black Ops 2 in the corner of the Battle Royale map zoomed out. So I was like, wow, this is really interesting. They have bits and pieces of maps from Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 in there. And it's crazy. I was like, wow. And not only that, they have a bunch of Black Ops series characters in there. They even have zombies characters. You know I'm buying those guys. If I have to pay for them, I'll pay for them. I'll pay for my Rick And That's what I'll tell you right now, right here. So, whew, I can't wait for Battle Royale. And I can't wait till mul for multiplayer because I felt World War II was bland, slow. And then when I watched this, I saw all the colors. I was like, yes, this is what I was looking for. Uh, I was just concerned about the futuristic effect. I don't think a lot of people are going to like it, but they're forgetting how Black Ops 2 worked. And I feel like that's how this game is going to work, besides the fact that there's the health regen system that mm, is iffy for me. But people who have been playing saying it was it's good, so yeah. But anyways, that's all I have today. So make sure you hit that like button again. Comment your thoughts on multiplayer and battle royale and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in my zombies uh, Thought video and I'll be coming out in a little bit peace out